Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the second part of the Tar Desert case study. This focuses on the challenges found in the desert. If you haven't studied this case study, you may wish to watch the Western Desert videos instead. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Let's start off by recapping where the Tar Desert is. The Tar Desert stretches across northwest India and into Pakistan, covering approximately 200,000 square kilometres, which if you remember from the last video, is slightly smaller than the UK. It is mostly in the Indian state of Rajasthan and it is the most densely populated desert in the world. The harsh desert conditions make life extremely challenging for those who live there. Our first major challenge in the Tar Desert is the extreme temperature. Temperatures in this desert can exceed 50 degrees in the summer, which makes life very difficult for people, animals and plants. We've already mentioned that it is the world's most densely populated desert. And the majority of the people who live there work outside, for example, in farming and mining. Working in the extreme heat can be extremely challenging and puts people at serious risk of harm. The extreme heat here also leads to high rates of evaporation and this can lead to water shortages in the region. This affects people through a lack of drinking water but it also means that there might not be enough water for agriculture and industrial uses. It also has an impact on animals and plants. Farmers have to provide shade for their livestock such as goats and cattle to protect them from the high levels of insulation during the day. Let's move on to water supply in the Tar Desert. There are significant issues with water supply in the Tar Desert with demand for water increasing due to population growth and the increased need to develop farming and industry in the region. The high population density is in conflict with water usage. Water is scarce due to the lack of precipitation, extreme heat and strong winds. These all lead to high rates of evaporation. However, there are some sources of water in the Tar Desert, such as the oasis pictured on the screen. But what other water sources are available to the people who live there? Well, firstly, we have ponds. These are where drinking water for both people and animals is stored. These can be natural ponds, they are known as tobas, or they can be man-made ponds, which are known as johads. There are also rivers and streams that flow through the Tar Desert, such as the River Luni. However, they are not permanent water sources and only flow after rainfall. Most of the people who live in this desert live along these rivers. Finally, we have aquifers. These are underground water sources where the water is stored in rocks. This water can be accessed using wells. However, the quality is not great because of the high salt content. So it is no good for drinking water and not great for irrigation. The last massive challenge we are going to look at is inaccessibility. Accessibility is difficult in the Tar Desert. Extreme weather and vast barren areas have made it really hard to develop a decent road network. Tarmac melts in the extreme heat and strong winds often blow sands across the road, meaning that drivers can't see where the roads are. As a result, most places in the Tar Desert can only be accessed by traditional forms of transport such as camels. What public transport there is, is in the form of extremely overladen and therefore dangerous buses, like the ones you can see on the screen. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the challenges found in the Tar Desert. Thank you for watching.